Hello, I'd just like to take this opportunity to remind you of the, that this um, Carifet series 1994 is presented by Hennessy, um, the place where you got your free drinks of cognac, etc., at the bar over there. A loud round of applause for Hennessy. And um, we'll call on stage Mr. Trevor Eastman again. You're supposed to clap for that. <laughs> you see, it is a problem facing me and the Caribbean people who live the Caribbean for so long. You know, when you leave the Caribbean for so long and then you come back, then you find things change so much. For instance, now Jamaica, nice, nice. Trinidad, nice, nice. No oil, but nice, nice. Guyana, nice. Hold time. I mean, Guyana. You have Guyana, Guyanese in America. They shouldn't be. Let me tell you why. Because in America, you have Johnny Cash and Bob Hope. In Guyana, no cash, no hope. <laughs> well, I mean, I love the Guyanese. Give all the Guyanese here a round of applause. Like, we have Barbadians living overseas for 20 odd years, never go back. When they do, they don't know things change. One Bajan gone back, goes into a shop, and he goes up to the shopkeeper and he says, um, can I have two pounds of sugar? The lady says, what? He said, yeah, oh, two pounds of sugar. She said, look, I don't know where you come from or where you been, but since Barbados gone metric, it is no more two pounds of sugar. It's kilograms. So what you want? He said, okay, man, sell me two pounds of kilograms then. <laughs> Trevor Eastman says so. You're supposed to clap for that. I know we got a lot of Jamaicans here. You know, I love my Caribbean. I'm one of the most patriotic Caribbean persons ever. But I give stick to all my Caribbean people because if we can't give each other stick, then it doesn't make sense, huh? You're supposed to clap for that. <laughs> but you imagine Jamaican come to Barbados, doesn't understand our drug laws, and smoking marijuana in the middle of Broad Street in Bridgetown. And he goes, Ja, meditation. <laughs> Israel vibration total concentration mind expansion and a big black Beijing holding to come police station <laughs> driver Eastman says so the time to present the award for lifetime award achievement award the Ken Chandler Award for Lifetime Achievement. To present that award, welcome Mr. Sullivan Walker. And he's one of the greatest writers out of the Caribbean and actors out of the Caribbean. And Joan Perkish. Give them a round of applause. You're supposed to clap for that. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah? <laughs> Say hello to Joan. Yeah? All right. You know... When you talk about giants in Calypso, well, it depends on how old you is. Some people would say spoiler, kitchener, lion. You know, some people say chalk dust, Stalin, crazy gypsy sparrow. If you're going to talk about those names, you have to include a man who is a friend of mine and a man who has inspired me in all my years. I know him since I was a little boy, so... A fellow called Duke, Kevin Pope. You remember the song, Black is Beautiful? Eh? If you didn't know you was beautiful after that, you was in serious trouble. You know, tonight we want to give to Kevin Pope, the mighty Duke, the Ken Chandler Award. And Joan will tell you a little bit more about that award. The Ken Chandler Award is given in memory of the Everybody's Magazine's first photographer, 
It is given to a Calisthonian for a lifetime contribution to the Calypso industry. Now, Duke was Calypso monarch of Trinidad in 1968, 1969, 1970, 1971. He was the Trinidad and Tobago Road March champion in 1987 with his hit Thunder. Last year, he was honored with the Everybody's Magazine Most Humorous Calypso for Pununu. Now, when you talk about Duke, you're talking about consistency, you're talking about style, you're talking about creativity, you're talking about a man who knows how to dress. Eh? Yeah. Let me tell you something. The mighty Duke. Eh? The mighty Duke. The mighty Duke. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan Walker. Thank you, Everybody's Magazine. Thank you so very much. This is indeed a, a very happy moment for me, a very happy evening to receive this award from Everybody's Magazine. But they say that when you've begun to receive this type of awards, it means you are old in the business. That's true, I am old in the business. But I am not in the business of getting old. As you can see for yourself. It's good to see that everybody in the magazine, who, as you know, recognizes everything, I beg your pardon? <laughs> Thank you, darling. Dorian Brown. <laughs> yes, as I was saying, you know, it's good to, to pop a what? A number, take two. You want a number, give him two. Yes. Everybody know that it's Popularity is recognized. Popularity, everyone recognizes popularity. As a matter of fact, popularity recognizes itself, rewards itself. Am, am I correct? But, but to recognize and reward excellence is beautiful. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't run yet, Duke. Don't run. Um, excuse me. From the mayor's office, you know, in the political process, in the poli democratic political processes of the United States, interestingly enough, I was at a dinner with Governor Mario Como on Wednesday night. And there was the senator from New York, the Democratic senator, and everybody who was in the Democratic Party in New York State was at that dinner. But one of the interesting things they did, they congratulated the Republican Party because you always play the game on both sides in the democratic process. Common Hall took a beating. The owner of this, this property here, of Vincentian, took a beating in the fall and everything. But I am happy to tell you that in the first time in the history of the city government in New York City, there is a West Indian who is the deputy press secretary to the mayor. We may have loved Mayor Dinkins, and he was a nice mayor, but we respect the office of the mayor, regardless of who is in power. And the current or the present mayor saw to it that a West Indian is in City Hall, and he's the, one of the deputy press secretaries. And he's here to present a citation to the mighty Duke on behalf, on behalf of Mayor Giuliani.
May I introduce to you Mr. Beachcop? Thank you. First, I'd like to say a special good night to everyone. And uh, a few months ago, you all will remember a great contributor in the Caribbean community, of course. We'd like to sp uh, just a special calm moment for the late Mr. Ralph Henry. And also, on a good note, a round of applause for the first three elections in South Africa for Nelson Mandela. I recall a couple of years ago when, when I say a couple of years ago, probably a little over a decade, I got into this country. I recall then that, and just in case you're wondering where I'm from, that's Guyana. But I'm still a Caribbean person. And I recall in high school, you never could have spoken with an accent. You had to be an American. And just a couple of years, it started to change. Everybody wanted to be an a, a Caribbean person, whether it's from Jamaica, Trinidad, Grenada, Barbados, etc. And I'm very happy to know then that we can come together, no matter what part of the Caribbean you're from, to be as one. Always remember that once we come together and forget about this Trinidadian, Jamaican, Guyanese, whatever it is, we'll be a strong force here in New York City, which we adopt as our foreign home. In New York, there's over 10 million people, and we as Caribbean people are over 3 million. And do you know how much we contribute in this city as hardworking people? Well, tonight, I'm here to present to Mr. Pope. He reminds me somewhat of Pope John Paul, but <laughs> it's indeed a pleasure to present on behalf of the mayor of New York City. Well, of course, I don't think his name need any introduction, Mr. Rudolph Giuliani. This is, of course, a letter of appreciation for Mr. Pope, and it reads as follows. Dear Mr. Pope, congratulations on being chosen to receive everybody's Caribbean Magazine Lifetime Achievement Awards. Your 15 plus years as a performer have given great joy to audiences all over the world. Your 15 plus years, and I repeat, as a performer, has given great joy to audiences all over the world. The respect that you receive from your audiences and your peers, who dubbed you the gentleman of Calypsonian, is greatly deserved. Best wishes for an enjoyable evening. I am looking forward to hearing the results of the next 15 years of your career. Sincerely, Signed, the Mayor of New York City, Mr. Rudolph Giuliani. Thank you very much. And not only that, we must also call for the support of the Democratic elected President of Haiti, Mr. Jean Barston Aristi, to be restored into power. Thank you and have a beautiful evening. Oh boy. Thank you so, so very much, Mr. Jolly. But I tell you what, they say behind every great man there's a woman. Am I correct? Maureen, this is for you. I love you. Thank you so very much. Fifteen plus twenty. Thank you. 